Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to bring uh, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering, content for the blood god. I mean, <clears throat> on with the show. Tonight, we have Hope. Uh, a post-apocalyptic short film, um, and this is by Ragnarok Film. I'll go ahead and give them a sub, sub and a like. Um, and let's bring. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's boogie. It's getting late. batteries. Did you find anything? Ford. <laughs> Sounds like a negative. <laughs> Somebody gave it looks like somebody gave up. For what though? I mean I guess you could trade. Must have just been fairly recent. Oh, look at that. My buddy. So gorgeous. Oh. Lucky there's water right next to you. Although you have to boil it and Boil it and boil it and boil it. Ford? Ford, you're not coming through. Ford? Ford? Are you talking to yourself again? Could you stop that? What? Found some good stuff. This, this will make you happy. Your favorite? And mine. Did you say anything on the talkie? Uh, nope. Mine's set of batteries. We talked about this. Just keep it on. I already know where you are, so what's the point? But if yours was turned off, 
There was some sort of signal. White noise. Could be anything now. Disturbance, malfunction. Yeah, but what if it was someone else? A person? Uh, not very likely, Luca. Ford! God damn it, pull yourself together. Ford, listen! But what if there's someone out there? That it wasn't just some disturbance. Who's the first and last person you've ever seen out here? Me. There's no one out there. And if there was, you wouldn't find them through a fucking walkie-talkie. That's how I found you! Look, we need to focus on what's important, okay? Let's go! Come on! It's gotta be so depressing to find nobody out there. Especially if you're on a frontier like that. You know, there's already like, uh, like, few signs of humanity in places like that. just happy to be alive. Sorry. So, we'll continue to the outskirts in the morning. Has to be something good there. And then, we'll continue down south. Away from this. Fucking cold. You might not be able to see him, but there's a little tiny um, crank mantis that's been going around. Right Doesn't smell as bad out here, huh? Oh no. You need a bath. You smell like shit. You don't smell like an angel yourself, Ford. What are you talking about? I'm pretty much oldless. You just wish I smell worse than you. Stop! Listen! Hello? Is anyone out there? Luca, there's no living being out there except for us. You can't prove that! I think it's coming from the forest. Oh 
Oh shit. Found a bunker or something. Or an installation. to find out. My man up here is fucking lonely though. Lots of meaningless junk unless you know what to do with it. It's nothing here. It's drained. Is anyone out there? Please, if someone's out there, give me a sign. Anything. Uh. We should get going. Gotta be heartbreaking. It's a radio tower. So? We need to go there. We should really go to the outskirts. I'm going to the tower! Fine. Fine. But you're wrong, Luca. I'm on your side, but you're wrong. Remember that. Just have faith in me for once. If there's someone out there, we'll find them. If not, we'll go back to the outskirts, all right? Do you remember the time you found that shelter? The one with all the crisps? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That was amazing, right? Yeah. I remember the evening we sat eating boxed peaches while chanting at each other. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what was that chant again? Yeah, what was that chant? Something like that. I, I like these two. It, 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 it feels a little bit more normal. Um, you know, there's such thing as like not wanting to like have like silence, like when you know when you're traveling you know want something to fill the void um but there's enough uh, there's 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 something to be said about naturally strained conversation you know like when like you know somebody is like really thinking hard on something and somebody else is just 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 moving along and you know and just the banter back and forth like uh it's it's it just feels authentic. That's what I mean. Uh, this this feels authentic. You'll come back to us at some point. That was a good day. Yeah. A lot better than the week before. You couldn't even slit your own wrists. Enough. That was the dullest night. Enough! I bet you it bothers me the more, even more, to see to having passed all the people that actually went through with it. <coughs> I personally see can't see myself going out that way. I'm too stubborn. I want to see the end of the game. But, um, I don't condone it, but I don't fault somebody for taking their way out. It's, you know, it's just not something I can see myself ever doing. So cold, you're just trying to fucking keep yourself from fucking shivering apart. Or, or screaming. Look at that. Hey, it's a fucking radio tower. We've seen those in Fallout. There's usually a fight waiting for us, and we can usually flick it on so we can uh, get better reception on our uh, pit boy. There it is. And Ford, I, 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 um, I bet you he just doesn't want his friend to get his hopes up and like have them crushed, like when they, you know, like they waste all that energy, like hiking out to the radio tower and it not being anything. Look at all of that. Look at um, all of um, all of that beautiful coastline on the other side probably can't afford having the um the the seaside town in the shot um even though it can just like you know it, it might still be abandoned and, and and dead you know like the west rest of the world is presented as survey of the land. It's 
still looks in fairly good shape too. Hello? Anyone receiving this? Hello? Two days with it. I mean, that's a reasonable amount of time to wait. I'm Luca. Me and my friend Ford. Now here together, seven years. Seven years? Seven years and they haven't seen anybody. Fuck. Looking for other survivors. So far, we haven't found any. There's nothing left. I mean, you can't be the no only left. two survivors left in the world. But there's you. If you're listening to me. Take the first watch. Can't sleep anyway. some sleep. The force of will to just keep going has got to be fucking immense. Such a beautiful shot. There isn't a shack that they can go in and fucking take shelter. So fucking much, like, no like, signal last night. Slept well. So much pain in his eyes, man. No. I don't usually do. It's understandable. After what we've been through. We're like... Animals, man. We're still people, Ford. The only people. Such a beautiful moon.
the the mantis. It's a day's journey to the outskirts. We should get going soon. Luca, are you deaf? I know we're out there. Just please fucking answer me! Turn it off? Look, uh, you need to come at me right fucking now. Or did you turn it off? Yeah. I did! I'm trying to help you, you crazy fuck! Say something, please say something! No! 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 That's the only thing that's got him fucking, like... Okay, calm the fuck down, okay? Really? Y'all gonna kill each other o over, like... <laughs> Don't kill your buddy, man! Don't kill your buddy! Don't fucking turn into... God, what the fuck, man? So what, are you fucking alone now? Oh, you've always been alone. I knew this day would come at some point. Look out. Get up. There's nothing for you here. Come with me. Luca? If you answer that. I'll be gone forever. It's the figment of his imagination that's been keeping him going for seven years. Hello? Luca! <laughs> the day he tried to kill himself is the day his brain fucking made a friend for him. I'm all you need. Luca, please. And I'm all you ever needed. Just you and me.
It's another person, bro. Go fix your shit. Holy hell, what the fuck did I just watch? Alright, um, so, that was Hope. Um, I believe that uh, Ford is a figment of his imagination. Um, I could be wrong. Um, he could just be um, selfish and uh, also have no desire to go back to any other people. Like, I, I don't know, like some people are... Uh, you know, almost like being institutionalized, but, you know, to, like, uh, living in the bush, you know. Um, other people are dangerous in the apocalypse. Uh, but um, I I do feel like Ford is a figment of Luca's imagination, um, and his brain is working very hard uh, uh, to keep him going um, and has been for a very long time, and it's trying to... Like the the part of his brain that that runs, uh, you know, like his his friend is 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 trying to protect him from the truth that you know he's been talking to a figment of his imagination for seven years. But I could be wrong, and uh, maybe that is the um, the the point of the uh, the end of the film. Like you're kind of left with. What does he decide to do in the end? Does he does he go back and get the fucking um, the walkie-talkie, or does he walk into the uh, um, into the unknown and back out to the outskirts uh, with uh, with his friend Ford? Let me know what you think uh, down in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, be safe, be happy, help, and healthy. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.